Hello, and welcome to Plan Street Video Tutorials. My name is Brian, and today I'll be giving a brief demo of our case management software. I've logged into the system, and we're going to start off by looking at our case management portfolio. Here you can see a list of all the active cases uh, that you have currently in the system. And then you can also see that there's the start date, durations, and health. You can also change this to show workers assigned or budget, things like that. Um, and this is laid out again as each case and then they're laid out against the timeline so you can take a look at this by either week or daily or monthly quarterly or yearly depending on the average length of your case and then as we go through we can open up each individual case we can open this up we can go in and we can look at the programs that are being offered take a look even further into there and open up and see about the individual activities that are there uh, you can see kind of how the progress is going um, and again the overall health and duration is shown as well. Once you've gone and reviewed uh, the current cases that you have and you want to go and take a look at an individual one we can simply click on the name and this will take us down into the individual case boards for a specific case. So now we're moving into the detail case for Elizabeth Smith. As you can see there's a host of information that you can collect here. Uh, things that are required are a case name, first and last name, and then everything else is uh, voluntary. But there's a, a wealth of demographic information in here that you that you can collect uh, on each uh, case as they come in through your intake. Uh, and then we'll come down to our case management details where you can attach forms if you like. You can assign your owners, assign your teams, uh, create it from a template if you have a template that you use to create cases uh, all that information can be done here and then we'll go over and we'll look at the actual case board itself so here are the actual programs that we have listed uh, and again there's no limit on these uh, you can have these uh, extend out depending on how, how many that you have uh, and then we can go down and look at each individual activity card uh, within a program. For example, uh, this one, which is blue, is currently in progress. This one, which is marked green, is complete. Uh, you can see who's been assigned to that particular uh, activity, and we can just open up a particular uh, activity card. We can go in, we can see, okay, here's the caseworkers that are assigned. If you need to assign others, you can select them. Uh, forms that are being used, if you need to add additional forms, you can simply do that here. Uh, attachments, uh, if you want to attach files, videos, things like that, they are all saved here. And then if we need to add a checklist, uh, you could simply add those in as well uh, as you go through the list. And then uh, you also have the ability to, to post comments, which keeps all the communication within the actual activity itself. So let's go back into one of the activity cards and take a look at uh, forms. So as we can see here, uh, in this particular activity, there's no forms attached. But I can simply add a form if I like. So we can just go here and let's just open up this form. We'll open this up and as you can see I can go in here and I can go ahead and start filling this out if I like. I can go in, uh, set a date on it for example, and then uh, I have an option to save it or save and submit it. I can save it and work on it later or I can save and submit and uh, that will become a document. So uh, let's first take a look at uh, where these forms came from. So in looking at where the forms come from over here, we're going to go and we're going to take a look at the form functionalities within Plant Street. Here you have the ability to do a couple of things. I can create a form uh, from nothing, and that is just me dragging over text fields, for example. Drag those over, it comes up. I can just save this. Here's the text field. I can type in whatever I want. Uh, the other option is to use a PDF form generator. So if I had a PDF, for example, uh, I could simply browse to it, upload it from here, bring it into the system, and then edit it as I need. And anything that has been created shows up in your My Forms, and these are here for you to use. And once you have them here, uh, you can go in and let's just open up uh, one of the forms, for example. And here from here I have the option I can share this if I want to send it in an email for example. I can send it to an existing client or I can send it to an, uh, uh, someone that's not already in the system. Uh, I can attach additional forms if I like. Uh, put in the subject. I can tie it into a particular case for example. If I select someone that's already in the system 
then when they fill the form out and it comes back, it will go directly into that person's case file already. So it organizes for you. Uh, in addition to that, I can also go in and do the shareable link. And this would be if I wanted to host this on a, on a website, for example, this would be the link that I would embed on the website so that people would also be able to fill, come into the website, fill out the form, and then have it come back into, back into the system. So where do those come? So once forms come into the system, or you attach documents, everything goes into our documents repository. So the documents repository is a holding ground for all of your, your important information. It keeps everything electronic, and again, it can be sorted by individual uh, case, for example. So if we come down here, and we'll just check a, a particular case, just say uh, this one, for example, you see all the uh, documents that are attached to this particular case. And you can go in further and drill down into individual activities within a case uh, and see that see what forms are attached there. Uh, from here, you also have the ability to share this with another person. You can move it, post comments to it, or I can also, if I needed to, send this out in email as well. Uh, from here, if I needed to, for organizational purposes, within this person's case file, I could add additional folders. I can upload files directly from here if I wish. And also, if I need to, I can remove documents as well. So now let's go back and take a look, uh, going back into the case. We'll show you here. This is your uh, case summary grid, and this shows you all the cases that are currently active. Uh, this is very similar to the uh, case portfolio, uh, but uh, this screen is exportable to Excel if you need to. Uh, columns, you can hide these. Any columns that you're not interested in, you can turn off. Uh, if you would like to change the order of these, you can also drag these around as well. And additionally, if I wanted to go into a case from here, I can simply click on the case name again. Now that we're back into Elizabeth Smith's case file, we're going to take a look at some of the activity cards and some of the options that you have within here. Uh, first off, if you need filtering, for example, we can you can simply turn off programs if you don't want to see them. Uh, if you want to view by a particular status of an activity, you can go in and see those, whether you want to see just new ones or just the ones in progress. You have that ability as well. Each program can be edited as needed, so we can go in and click the edit button here. Uh, you can change the name of it, change the start dates on it, make it inactive or active, uh, and you can change the color of it as well if you'd like. And then within each card, when you come down, you can add cards. Uh, we have the drag and drop feature. You can simply drag one over uh, and add a new activity to a particular program. Or I could say if I needed to move one from one program to another, I can simply drag and drop that way. If I need to bring new activities into the system, I can simply add them here one at a time. Just give it a name. And I can go ahead and assign it to someone if I wish. And then save it. And then again, I can drag that to wherever I wish within the, within the system. So if I'm working on a particular activity, I can open that up by double-clicking the card. And again, I can go in and I can assign the case workers to it. I can attach documents if I like. I can remove documents if I don't want them on there. And again, we have the ability to add the checklists as well. So now I'm going to go and look and see for these particular individuals what it looks like when they log into the system. So I am logged in as this user PC. So when I go into what's called my street, and this is just the area for my individual use, and this is what uh, the average caseworker would see when they log into the system. And this would just be uh, the boards that they have for their to-do, which are all the activities that have been assigned to them by case managers or other people, uh, as well as what they have in progress, what they've completed, and if there's anything that they're having particular issues with. Uh, I've got some that are in progress. I've got some that are completed. Uh, I'm look, currently looking at all active cases, but I could also go in here and select just an individual person if I wish. So I could come in here. And let's look at uh, Elizabeth again. And as we can see for her, I've got this particular in progress, and these have already been done. So if I go in here, I can open this up. 
And again, this is the same activity card that you would have seen uh, at the individual case management board. Uh, you can see that the, here are the case workers that are assigned to it, the forms that were already attached, all the documents that you saw earlier, uh, checklist that needs to be done. So if I'm currently working on this, let's say that uh, I've completed the signature, so I'll check off on that. Uh, if I post a comment or I can reply to a comment if need be. Uh, but if this is all the work that I had to do within this particular thing, now I can just save this. And if everything in my work on this is complete, I can simply drag it over to done. And that will change the status of that check mark from blue to green within the actual case board. And then I can go on and continue with anything else that I have uh, currently assigned to me. So other features uh, within the software are the uh, my schedule. For example, this is where if I needed to set up a meeting or appointment, maybe I need to discuss some things with other members of the team, I can come in here and select those particular resources that I wanted to meet with. Uh, so I could see that their calendar and their availability, select a time, go up and add a meeting or appointment, uh, just like you would in any other calendar so that you can organize and, and meet with your team as needed. In addition to checking schedules, uh, there's also the ability for timesheets and time tracking. Uh, should you be tracking time for employees, uh, they can come in and create timesheets. Uh, these can be set up on an approval basis. So once they are submitted, they go to an approver. Uh, and again, these timesheets can be set up on uh, particular date ranges. So if you were wanting to do them weekly, uh, every two weeks, twice a month, uh, they can go in, select the cases that they are working on, the date range, the frequency, and then within here they can open up each particular case. It shows the activities they are working on, and then they can come through here and enter time. And then once they are complete, uh, they can save it, or if it's time to submit, they can come up and click submit. Uh, we also offer reporting. So when you come in, it's time for you to generate reports uh, against your uh, cases. For example, you come in and have a couple of different options. Uh, the system comes with uh, several uh, graph type reports uh, that you can create. Uh, it allows you to create your own template uh, as far as putting in your letterhead, for example, uh, logos, selecting particular fonts. Uh, and then you can come in and select a particular template between, you know, bar graphs, column graphs, combinations. Uh, and then even within those, you know, there's several varieties uh, for each one. So you can create those reports and then pin them to your dashboard so that you always have them available. Uh, and then they would show up here right here uh, on your dashboard. So in addition to reporting, uh, we also uh, have uh, donors where you can keep track of uh, donors that you have. You can go in and search for these, uh, send emails. Uh, you can add new donors as well. You can export your list of donors out to Excel if you need to. You can also invoice. So if you're needing to create a new invoice for someone, uh, you simply go in here and click new invoice. And this opens up and you have the ability to, you know, for billing address, uh, email, phone, uh, you know, entering information, and then uh, you can send the invoice directly from here. Finally, we do offer a client portal, and this is a uh, this is the ability. This gives you the ability to share information with uh, people that might be outside of the organization, uh, whether it be the client themselves or maybe a board member, something like that. You can come in uh, once you've got the case open within Street Center. You can come in and decide what view you want to give, and then you can simply click share, and this will generate the link, and you can just send this to them in an email copy it and then they can click that link and they can come in and see see this information uh, the same is true with documents uh, or also a scheduler if you need it and again this just gives them uh, the ability to go in and take a look and see what kind of uh, progress is going on uh, and you can't control the permissions here to uh, so they have either just view only or maybe you want them to be able to go in and actually access a particular activity completely configurable uh, depending on your needs. So that is uh, kind of a high level look at the case management software. So you can come in and see all of your cases that you have open. You can go into a particular case. You can attach documents. You can create and attach forms. 
Uh, all of that information is saved for you. You can assign uh, resources. You can assign tasks and activities to those resources. Uh, they have the ability to uh, track time. They have the ability to attach documents. Uh, they have the ability to update in real time, whether that be on a mobile app or you know on their workstation. Uh, you can keep communication, comments, and replies right there within the case. And then, uh, you know, you can manage your donor system through there. You can do invoicing. Uh, you can create teams and add resources as needed. Uh, you have a, a community calendar so that you can uh, set up uh, times and meetings for, for your team. And everything contained right there within the Plan Street case management software. This has been an overview of our case management product. Thank you for watching.